Hey, it's a title card for the show, and I don't have a proper intro yet. Yay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Maximo Ghosts to Glory. Uh, so, I actually tried recording this already, uh, but it didn't work, so we're gonna try it again, and hopefully it doesn't fucking fail this time. And, uh, and as soon as we actually get into the main game, I'll explain what the fuck this game is. We got a cutscene first, though. And holy shit, the design of this game is kind of cool. Oh, she got them titties. Bro, that's not cool. And my lips don't sync up with what I'm saying. The underworld? That's not cool, bro. Behold, my dark power. Penis. <laughs> oh, I'm so immature. Oh, uh, is that death? Oh, oh it's death. Why? Not afraid of death? <laughs> there are worse things. I than love death. his voice. True, true. Things like that. Oh shit. <gasps> Do you? Do you know what that is? I have no Achilles idea. Achilles drill made that hole. He frees my spirits. He frees my spirits and he raises my dead. That's not for cool, man. Army. You're just What's doing your job. So and he's just coming in and fucking it all up for you. That's well. not cool at all. How can I trust you? How can you not trust this? <laughs> Quite easily. As proof of our contract, as long as you have this, okay. I'll keep you alive. I like games that have an excuse for why you can't keep coming back from the dead. That's nice. Ooh. Why are you helping me? Why not? If there's no more dead, I'm out of a <laughs> I was really hoping that you could help me sync my lips up with what I'm saying. It's an affliction that I've had for a while now. Bye bye. Okay, so welcome to Maxima. So, for those of you wondering, what the fuck is this game? Uh, so, there's this old series made by- fucking foot cheese. Brilliant. There's this old game made by, uh, Capcom called Ghosts and Goblins. It's an old 2D platformer. It's been around for an age, like, roughly as long as Mega Man and shit like that. It's an old 2D platformer, uh, that's been on a lot of consoles. It's still going to this day, from memory. Um, and I was looking into it a while back, because I was going on kind of a Capcom kick. And I was always curious why this series never made it into the 3D realm, because, you know, a lot of games like that have, even Mega Man has. And I found out it actually did, but not under the name Ghosts and Goblins. It made it under the name Maximo. And uh, this is, basically, it's a spin-off, it's not a full sequel, it's a stylistic, it's stylistically a sequel, like, it's designed by the same guys who made Ghosts and Goblins, so it has a similar look, but it's a completely separate story, a completely separate set of characters, but it looks the same, it plays similarly, it has a lot of the same stuff like getting armor, and uh, when, when you get beaten up enough, your armor falls off, so like, maybe this was an inspiration for Senran Kagura. We never know. We will never know. And one day we will play Senran Kagura, and everyone will hate me. Or love me. Either way, I might get a following. Maybe not the following I want. Um, but yeah, I found this game on the PSN for the PS3. Uh, 15 bucks. And its sequel's also on there, for called uh, Maximo vs. The Army of Zin. That's also on the PlayStation Store for 15 bucks. So, I figured I'd try it out, and honestly, I've been having a real fun time with it. It's, it's platformery, and very much the kind of game that I like. It's hack and slashy, it's got platforming stuff, and it's got little things that I just enjoy, like, in particular, this. The fact that my sword gets stuck in the tree. Like, little attention to detail. I love that shit. Um, so this is a PS2 game that's being emulated on a PS3, and it looks pretty fucking good. I'm also amazed that we have it, uh, cause... Australia's, uh, PSN is not great for the whole PS2 classic shit, except on the PS4, but, uh, fuck it. At least we, at least I can play it and um, show it off to you guys because this is actually a pretty good game. I do have one big complaint, and it's the biggest complaint that I find a lot of people have. Uh, there is no camera control. Like you'll notice that the camera is sticking straight to me, and like, just watch, just watch this. 
with any li yep there it goes it slowly turns around there is no camera control for this game and it, it, it it's really annoying I'm not gonna lie it's it like I keep going to hit the uh, analog the right analog stick or even the even the bumpers to, to make it work but nothing happens and it's it's annoying I'm not gonna lie it's pretty fucking annoying but we will get through it it's it's super annoying when there's like an enemy right behind you and you never know like uh, like this fucker here this is a ghost. They come right at you and steal shit. Luckily, I knew where he was. I played through this level a bit. I actually played through this level in a previous recording, but uh, my capture card decided to say fuck you and quit about, uh, oh, fuck, I bumped the mic. Sorry, guys. Um, it quit about halfway through uh, the first cinematic, and then I recorded the episode, but the intro was fucked, so I was like, well, better do it again, because fuck it, I can't just record a new intro. But it's fine, I actually, this first level's actually pretty cool, and, uh, you know, I, I like this game. Um, I'm genuinely surprised that I like this game, I didn't know what to expect coming into it, so I'm glad I like it, you know? It's, it's fun finding something you have no idea whether you'll like, and it turns out to be fucking cool, man. Love the design of it, too, like, uh, I believe it was designed by a pretty famous, uh, manga artist, uh, Reese. Future Reese, dude, uh, throw up, uh, the name of the guy who designed all of this, because he's awesome, uh, he has a great style, I really appreciate it, and it translates over very well to video games, like, just look at this, like, I've, I've never seen anything that looks quite like this, particularly how good it looks, like, currently, like, I, I would play this, well, I am playing this now, good, good job, Reese. just blathering on. I'm good at that. I'm real good at blathering. Did I start the timer? No, I definitely started the timer. Pretty sure I said this in the last episode too. <laughs> the last time I recorded this, which was like minutes ago. Ugh. I know when everything's coming. Yeah, I started the timer. I know that this chest is a mimic. The one in the middle. Like, they, they lull, lull you into a false sense of security. So. Block. 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 Does he ever stop? Jesus Christ. Did he break my fucking shield? He broke my fucking shield! Dickweed! Ah, oh, okay, so stop. I didn't know your shield could break. That's fucking annoying. I guess all your armor can break. Wow. Like, I, know, I, I knew the rest of your armor could break. I did not know shields could break. That is... Wow, that sucks, but... Okay. Oh, that was cool. Did I do that by spinning? I, I don't know what I did there. But I, like, fucked him up royally. I'm, uh, I believe these coins, like, you know, basic collectible. It's a, it's a platformer. I think you actually use them to buy stuff uh, later down the track. In fact, I could probably go back and buy that thing at the beginning of the level if I can get there. I don't think I can, though. I think it's blocked. I think that path's blocked off. Probably have to go back there later, and if the camera could, that'd be great. Yay! Yay! We don't need no shit. We don't. We don't have to worry about some shitty camera. Holy fuck! No! 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 <laughs> what the fuck, man? Those things hit hard. Like serious. Oh god! See, this is why the camera's shit. Like stuff just jumps out at you, and uh, I'm gonna lose some armor right now, aren't I? What's gonna happen? Uh, you also get these weird little firefly spirit navi looking motherfuckers from breaking gravestones open. I have no idea what these do. I'm hoping they explain it further down the track. Uh, assuming we get further down the track. I would like to keep playing this, Jesus. Fucking Christ. That is, uh, that is apparently a classic, uh, element of the Ghosts and Goblins series. Shit, you're the world just, like, falling in beneath you. That's kind of fucked up. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Where, what else is there over here? Oh! Health toad. Health heal. Full heal. 50 coins? Fine. Why are the coins spelt with a K? Is that like meant to be all yieldy? Yieldy fu- okay. And fuck. Yeah. Those ones, I, I came across those ones before. They like look like they're dead and then like you have to just, you, you gotta kill them. Shocking, you have to kill everything in this game. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's... What the fuck? Was that a tentacle? 
Did the tentacle come out of the fucking moat to, like, eat me? Jesus. What the fuck is this game? I love it. It has tentacles. Of course I love it. Jesus. Actually, my girlfriend would love it. I'm gonna shut up now, uh, and- WHAT THE fu- Ugh, oh, come on! That was fucking balls. I only have three lives, that's even worse, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let's see if- let's see if I can get this. I wanna get that- uh, that gem, because- because it looks so nice. It looks so nice and shiny. I need it. I need it! I net it. Oh, I made it. Okay, now the- now the fun part, making it back. And I did it. Okay. Doing better this time around. Oh, that blue bar measures how much I've, uh, I've, uh, frickin' got left on my shield. Okay. There we go. The controls are pretty fluid, uh, and I, do, I like the, the whole, uh, you know, you don't jump that high because you're in a suit of armor. Like, you could double jump, but, like, it feels weighted. And I guess that makes sense, because, you know, you're in a, in a full suit of fucking armor. That does make sense. I have no idea what that did. Uh, maybe it changed my attack style? I don't fucking know. All I know is this floor is going to eat me and there are zombies and good lord. Uh, get, get away from me. Get away from me. So I have no idea whether this game did well or not. I know it's, it's considered, like, it's part of the PS2 classics range, but, like, I never heard of it. I never heard of it until about a week or two ago. And honestly, it's a very fun game. I hope it did well. It did well enough to warrant a sequel, I guess. But, um... Yeah, I've just... I've never heard of it. Um... Uh, maybe it didn't do too well. Who knows? Who knows, right? Um... Maybe it didn't do well because it wasn't in immediately connected to the Ghosts and Goblins series. Like, it's called Maximo Ghosts to Glory, which sounds similar. I, I warrant that it sounds similar to Ghosts and Goblins, but, like, it's not immediately obvious. But, you know, who knows. I like the attention to the detail of this game, too. Like, the fact that your sword can get stuck in the tree. That's fucking awesome. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Bunch of- Oh, what the fuck are you? Oh, you, you made me lose my helmet, dude. That's not cool. Yeah, and um, oh, I mentioned that you lose your stuff. I might even lose my fucking armor now, too. Jesus. Je oh my god, there's so many of you. Ah, oh. oh, and there we go. I am I am in my dax. That's fucking gr Okay. Wait, did that- I don't- Wait, why do I have a key on my belt? Okay, screw it. Yeah! We did it, guys! We beat the first level! How awesome is that? And we did it in roughly 15 minutes. And this time the recording didn't fail. Oh boy! <laughs> um... Ah, oh, my leg- oh, My foot's going to sleep, sorry. Um, okay, we're in a new level. Uh, this place looks super cool. And creepy. I love it. I love the cool and creepy. And this one looks more... Open to exploration. That's real cool. Unless this is like a hub world. I doubt this would be a hub world. I don't think they... I don't know what to think. I have never played this, so I have no idea what I'm thinking. Or doing, most of the time. Okay, Mr. Bonebag. Coffin Canyon. Is this a hub world? This might be a hub world. I mean, that would make sense, right? This is a 3D platformer. Yeah, this is totally a fucking hub world with enemies that can kill me. That's not cool, hub world. Why would you do that? Jesus. That's what this game needs. This game needs Jesus. Wow. This game is a lot more expensive than I thought. Okay, um, I think that is about all the time we have this episode, but, um, if you'd like to see more of Maximo Ghost to Glory, like this this game, let me know, and I'll, we'll keep playing it. If you want to see more of Maximo's burly, beefy, masculine, manly chest and his heart heart covered boxes, let me know, and we'll play a bit more of it because I'd like to keep playing this. This this game's pretty fun, um, and uh, we might we might try working it into as a regular game. We'll see how we go. Okay, thank you guys uh, so much for watching, camera. I know you don't want us looking at Maximo's chest, but we obviously want to. That's that's what the viewers came here for. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking around, guys. I will see you in the next episode of the Super Show. Love you all very much. Uh, bye bye.